Hi everybody, this is Lainey and welcome back to History Highlights with Lainey. Welcome to my channel if you're new and if you're not new, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a great day. In this video, I would like to pay tribute to Suzanne Douglas. Suzanne, born April 12th, 1957 and died July 6, 2021, was an American actress. She was best known for her role as the matriarch Geraldine Jerry Peterson on the Warner Brothers sitcom The Parenthood, starring Robert Townsend, which originally ran from 1995 to 1999. Douglas also portrayed Amy Sims in the 1989 dance slash drama film Tap alongside Gregory Hines and the legendary Sammy Davis Jr. for which she won an NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Supporting Act Actress an emotion picture. In addition to Tap, Douglas starred in several other motion pictures. Among them, How Stella Got Her Groove Back in 1998, Jason's Lyrics in 1994, The Inkwell in 1994 as well, and as well as the 2003 Disney's ABC version of The Sounder. Douglas is also well known for her portrayal as Sissy Houston in the Lifetime TV movie Whitney, which aired in 2015. In May 2019, she appeared as the mother of one of the main characters in the Netflix miniseries When They See Us produced by Oprah Winfrey's Harpo Films. Douglas was born in Chicago, Illinois on April 12, 1957. She was one of four children born to Lois May Thompson and Donald Douglas Sr. But her mom raised her and she grew up in the housing projects on the city's far south side. She became interested in arts as a child, saying the sound of music was her inspiration for pursuing an acting career. Douglas had numerous television guest star appearances, including Bull, Bones, The Good Wife, The Parkers, The Cosby Show, Law and Order, Criminal Intent, NYPD Blue, and Touched by an Angel. Wow, she was in a lot. She is also a lifetime member of the Girl Scouts of the USA and the National Council of Negro Women. Suzanne took to Facebook on January 23rd, 2021, to be a spokesperson for others that were experiencing health struggles amidst her own battle with cancer. Do not let poor health interrupt your purpose. God's mission and plan for our lives take our being committed to our mind, body, and soul, she encouraged. In February 1989, Douglas married neuroradiologist Roy Jonathan Cobbs, to whom she was still married at the time of her death. Together, Douglas and Cobbs had one daughter. Douglas died on July 6, 2021, at the age of 64, at her home in Martha's Vineyard after a two-year battle with pancreatic cancer. Sister Douglas, we salute you. 
You contribute a lot to this great nation, to the family and friends. You have our condolences, but she's not in any pain at all. She's at home now, resting in peace. Be well, stay safe, and stay in peace, not pieces. Hit that bell so you will know every time I upload a video. Word of the year, peace, peace. Deuces, see you soon.